ready for action. Alright, what's up? This is TK from Comic and Sire. Check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. How y'all doing tonight? So I'm here uh, with my buddy Clan Spaduva and uh how you, how you doing tonight? Or actually <laughs> should I do that over again? That huh? that I, I think I pronounced that wrong. Should I do that over yeah, again? That's fine, right. yes, no, no problem. I'm used to it. It's a nice way it houses dancing. Here, uh, I'll I'll do that one no, uh no. more time and then uh I want to say here. It's, it's, great. It's, a, it's a good job. It is. Okay. You tried. You tried really hard. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, man, I wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the stuff you do in acting because, uh, I mean, you do, uh, seems like a lot of theater work, too, which, uh, yeah. it, to me, that seems like uh, like I'm trying to get into acting myself, and I could never do that because, that, to me, that seems harder, you know, uh, versus being on film uh, versus being on, you know, live you know, audience. Oh, yeah, it's it's yeah. You know, there's no nobody's yell, yells cut. You have to figure it out if you're in a live performance. Yeah, yeah. There's no going back. <laughs> yeah, man. So I uh, and uh, thanks again, uh, once again, for doing the interview with us because uh, no yeah, it, it's kind of crazy. And you know, this whole crisis is going on. Most of the celebrity interviews I do are at you know like Comic Con events and everything. And <laughs> this past week is the first time I've ever had to do digital interviews. So it's. It's a little bit of a trip, but uh, I mean, yeah, this has got to be affecting like everybody. I mean, how's this, how's this affecting you, man? Like, because a lot of stuff is, uh, you know, theater work you do wise versus movies. I mean, well, I mean, that's not really paying stuff as much. Um, uh, you know, I have a regular nine to five job too. Luckily, I'm still holding on to it at the moment. Ironically enough, it's for a movie theater, so. Um, all of our locations are shut down for movies, but we're still selling popcorn, so, you know, people love it. Well, uh, so a uh, little bit on uh, some of the theater work, uh, you know, like I was saying, uh, acting versus uh, being live stage. Can you mm -hmm. tell us, uh, you know, a little bit about that, because that's, that's got to take some guts doing that versus being on film. Yeah. You know, like you said, you didn't, you, you get on film to say cut versus figuring mm -hmm. it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just... It, it's a totally different ball game. It's much more stressful. Um, yeah, there is no cut. So if you drop a line in the middle of a scene, uh, you either have to figure out a way out of it, or whomever you're with on stage needs to figure out a way out of it. But um, yeah, there's been some excitement, um, stuff going wrong. You never know what's going to happen. Something's going to fall down, or there won't be a prop where it needs to be, or somebody misses a cue and you're standing there like, oh, what am I gonna do? Um, I was watching a show one time between two ladies and they, they sat up for the longest time for about two minutes looking at each other and then the one woman said, I have no idea what I'm gonna say next. And it's like, <laughs> okay <laughs> then. Damn. Um, yeah, it, it's definitely less, uh, more stressful, but it's very repetitious. So it's, I guess film is the same way. Walk from here over to there. Um, uh, you can't really mess up too much. Um, I remember, uh, and then we'll be talking about this later, but I remember Tag, one of my old directors, used to tell me that uh, I, you can always go too far. Uh, I can pull you back if you go too far, but if you don't give me enough, you know, it's harder to get that out of you. And you don't really know that the case until you're doing something and they're filming it and the assistant director walks up to you and says, yeah, we like what you're doing, uh, but could you dial it back a lot? You're kind of taken away from the, from the actual actor that's doing that. So, yeah, <laughs> which is another reason why you can know if you're on, on film if, if they tell you you're doing too much. But um. Hey, uh, speaking of, man, I got to say, uh, something <laughs> that really cracked me up about TAG is um, – the scene uh, that you, you and John Anderson are in, it cracked me up so much because uh, 
you know, uh, when I first hit you up about the interview, uh, I think he says something like he's a little bit uh, more famous. But correct me up, because in that movie, it seemed like you got more, a little bit more screen time. And because uh, to me, that was one of the funniest scenes in that movie was the, you know, the whole AA scene. And uh, the the funny, the reason why I thought it was one of the funniest scenes, the actor who uh, the, was the stoner. Uh, out of the friends, out of the group of friends, right before he gets hit in the face, like he goes take that dive right before he gets hit in the face with the coffee, you know. And they they say, "What's this line?" He says, "He's like, what kind of bitch drinks hazelnut?" Like literally that dive, you could see like it, every camera angle that they did had you on there. I was like, man, this dude literally got in the funniest moment of the funniest scene of the movie. Well, this is the story behind that. It's as funny as it may sound. Um, it was really a bad day because the night, the day before, I was in Savannah shooting a uh, reality show for VH1. I had to play Butcher. Um, and it was something called Scare Famous. It was like a reality show. Um, and the whole scene, some stuff was messing up with the scene, so it got to be later and later and later. And I needed to be from Savannah to Atlanta the next day to shoot that, um, we were so late. And I finally get out of there. I'm, I'm texting him. I'm saying, dude, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. I'm going to be late. Um, and they were really nice about it. And so I walked in, and I'm still, if you've seen, the, if you have the pictures, what I look like on this VH1 show, I mean, I was still covered with blood. I had, I was just completely, you know, I never even stopped, changed, washed anything off, just walked in. It's like, I'm here. And they looked at me like, Oh, okay. shit. No, it's, it's, it's okay. And somehow with all that, I ended up right in the middle of that AA meeting, literally in the middle of it. Um, so I felt really lucky that day. I thought they just, you know, oh, no, you late, we'll just throw you in wherever we can. But I ended up right in the middle of it, right, right next to Jeremy Renner. And I uh, had to look at him many times that day. So I would tell you very much, and I, I'm rambling on a lot, I would tell you that man is a sport. He had broken... He had that accident, and everybody said it came from Avengers, but it, it actually came from Tag. He had, had that accident. He had the painkillers and the cast and everything. And that guy was it, was a trooper actually going through and doing that acting. And what came out on the screen is just amazing. If, if it's just knew his suffering, his actual suffering when he was doing that, it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did a lot of uh, action scenes in that in that movie. For you know, for a comedy, you wouldn't think. Someone would be jumping out windows so much, or well, that going whole the, uh, that whole scene with the coffee, you know, that, that's all CGI. He actually has a cast on. Oh yeah. damn! I did not yeah. know that. Yeah. That's a trip. Yeah, it's a cat. <laughs> he had little X's on it, um, you know, for the the visual effects department to put in a new arm. Um, that, so. <laughs> that is a trip. For you fans of seeing tag, I mean, that, that's crazy, right? I I couldn't tell in the editing. That that's awesome. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> well, I can't keep you on here all night, man. I, I'm very appreciative for you uh, being on the interview. But before we go, I was wondering, uh, you know, for fans of Comic Insider and just new fans in general, uh, where we can find you. If you have a website for, you know, upcoming events or just uh, how to find well, not you. Not really. I mean, I have a Facebook page, but that's really about it. Um, I'm, I don't know. I've just never been one of those big guys where it's like, look at me kind of person. So I don't have like a whole fan page. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, um, we got we got to get you one of those set up, man. No, I'm serious. That, uh, that, well, like I plug, said, man. Let me plug one little tiny thing, and it would be really bad to not to do this. Um, so yeah. I'm working with a little project called Dusk. It's a web series. Uh, it's a very uh, supernatural web series. Vampires, uh, demons, werewolves, and all that. Awesome. It just got picked up by Avail TV. Um, so you can, if you can get the Avail TV app, you can see us on um, on uh, Amazon Fire Stick and uh, what the other Amazon Prime. No? Ah, I'm gonna hate myself for remembering. Oh, uh, Roku. There's one other one. I can't think Actually, of what it is. Roku. Roku. So, yeah, I'll check that out. Apple TV too. So. Um, we're about to shoot our fourth season of that. Hell yeah. And um, I'm one of the good guys, very few of us, uh, you know, <laughs> playing Angel in Nexus. So I'm very excited. Uh, there's going to be lots of fighting coming this next season between good and evil. So it should be exciting. So check us out. Check us out. Yeah, y'all heard it from the legend himself. Yes. Man, this sounds awesome. I, I got to check this out. I got the road crew. 
So I'm going. Oh, yes. I'm going to check this out, man. And continue in Spider-Man: Homecoming too, if you didn't notice that. That, that was my claim to fame right there. My Sp- my three second Spider-Man: Homecoming, where I'm standing behind Aunt May. So I'm logistically I've... supposed to be Ned's dad in that movie, but they don't oh, ever give me credit for it. So. That is awesome, man. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Well, I hope to see more awesome upcoming work for you. You know, uh, I know this is crazy, everything going on. I want their own Marvel. Give it to me, for sure. They haven't had Ned's parents on yet. Have everybody else, but his. Yeah, oh my God. With the, and they got a new one coming out within this, this next year. Parents aren't filming yet, but. Come on, Marvel. We got we to got see Ned's parents on this. <laughs> that, would, that would be awesome, man. Well, once again, thank you so much for being on the show. I'll let you get back to it. And uh, Mm -hmm. everybody, make sure to check this out. Check out Tag. Y'all have a great night. Comic Sire, like and subscribe. Remember, we're the only channel that has a clean bill of health from Doctor Doom, Doctor Strange, Doctor Fate, and Doctor Who. We will see you in the multiverse. Gotta run. (laughs) Check it out. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Men. And you should like... Subscribe, watch, then tell all your other friends to like and subscribe, Comic Insider.